Okay, then you want to get started? Yeah, let's go. So, do you want to bump it up to brutal, or do you want to stick with hard for now? Uh, are you are you okay with going to brutal? I mean, after last mission, yes. <laughs> I don't know how we do on like Scythe of Amon, but I feel pretty let's, confident. Let's get one more level on hard because we'll definitely get to level hard. three. Yeah. Let's do one more hard. Okay. Then, yeah. What did I get last time? Let's see. Oh, my zerglings and roaches can fight each other. Yes. Fight for me. So I got the hostile incubation. So store two additional charges, and I can target enemy structures with spawn broodlings. Nice. So random mission. Let's get that bonus XP. What are we gonna get? And also, sorry, what? I was just commenting. What are we gonna get? It's random mission. Oh yeah. Oh, void thrashing. Okay. <laughs> Could have done bad, brutal. Not bad. <clears throat> yeah, I'm still learning. It's true. the the only The yeah. only map that frightens me a little bit with early levels is Scythe of Amon. Scythe but to be Amon. fair, we were only playing it with Phoenix and Abathur, which again, global <laughs> abilities, I feel like make that yeah. map a lot easier. So, who knows? I have to spawn broodlings, but once I get the Apocalypse, we're gonna be like, call down central. <laughs> yeah, Apocalypse and Alexander. Every, every attack wave, we're gonna have like two call downs for. <laughs> yes gonna be crazy it's I like didn't... oh there's an attack wave coming for expansion we're like on the other side of the map yeah <laughs> easy peasy <laughs> i didn't see if tahaka himself could deep tunnel or maybe i did and i just don't remember we played last night no, i was did. so out of it oh my god oh, yeah. <laughs> no the haka can deep tunnel okay plus cool. is the worms can deep tunnel as well he just is so ridiculously powerful i mean he's weak early on but if you can keep him alive he's crazy good now we get to see your your units fight each other. I love... May the best survive. Looking at Dahaka poking out of his little den. I know. <laughs> I also equipped... I equipped my Dahaka announcer. It seemed fitting. Nice. Well, we'll see how this goes. Did that come out with the... The most recent Yes. Patch, or? Yes, it did. Okay. How much do my extractors cost? 75, okay, because I don't need to use drones. So someone pointed out in the comments of the last video, so your drones are technically consumed when you build a building, but it's not because they're used, it's because they are eaten. They build the building and they're then eaten they get by... eaten wow. by the building, yeah. And you don't have to worry about supply, which is awesome. Yes, I love that. <laughs> so I think with Dahaka, I, I typically want to put my first point into Devour, but I want to see what the enemy composition is first. Mm-hmm. Because it might be, it might be easy. It might be a pain in the butt. So if it's zerglings or marines, then it'd be worth getting the leap first, so I can just smash them. Mm -hmm. All things change. I guess I could just move on and start eating stuff now, though. Now let's do it. Let's see what happens. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't aggro any of the other stuff. Essence. And then you do extra damage versus armored enemies because you took the devoured the roach, right? Right. For 15 seconds, it happens. I'm gonna keep an eye on this uh, this drone too while he's building the. Uh, I wanna see. I wanna watch him get consumed. And I just like move back out and I just keep eating stuff. Yeah, that's really neat. Get him to level two before the first attack, and then I can get the leap. Anyway, not every mission has enemies really, really close like that. I guess. Yeah, most do, I think. So I need Glevig's Den first. Oh, I think I missed him getting eaten, or at least I wasn't looking directly at him, but... It's cool, it shows the essence. I, will change. I think one very, more cool. mid-tier unit. Oh yeah, all right, so now I can get Leap. I follow. <laughs> That's cool, okay. Um, what should I get I first to destroy my rocks, I wonder? I guess I could just send a Haka to do it. I could just eat it'd be funny if I could just eat the Void Thrasher. Yeah, I think Blizzard's made it so you specifically cannot Can't do that. Devour yeah. bonus objectives or... Uh oh. I'm trapped. He's trapped? Don't you have like a I'm okay. I had a leap, but I used it already. So I need to make a lot of these primal wardens. <laughs> Running level three. Wow. He's good. 
<laughs> it would be hilarious if I could just eat this thing. I think you can just focus exclusively on using him mm -hmm. to do a lot of the... Uh... If you just focus on him early to just devour as much as possible, probably is all you need. Another level. Nice. Be like level six now? I'm already level four, yeah. He's basically a Warcraft hero, Lynn, that you typically want to focus on them. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna make Zerglings so I can use them to kill each other. Nice. Yeah, I'm just getting my upgrades. Nice. I like the bunker move. Yeah. <laughs> I do like the look of the, the, the primal hives too. They're really good looking. Mm -hmm. You also gotta remember we're playing a hard, so everything's a little bit slower. <laughs> yeah, everything's a little slower and, and definitely easier. Wait, okay. Destroy each other. Let's see it. <laughs> That's the best. cool. Zergling win. They fight for right. half the time and then they turn into an egg. And they a are Ravisars. Huh. Are those like the. They have the range attack? I have no idea. It looks like they have a range attack, yeah. Fight for me? <laughs> That's cool. Ah! I love it! I also want to watch this drone get devoured. Oh! <laughs> the building comes out of the ground and just gobbles it up as it's on its way up. That's awesome. It's actually a little, little sad. I feel bad for the little guy. Alright. You, buddy. So we need a infestation level two. So engineering bay. Oh, that's really good. Yeah. Getting those upgrades. <laughs> so I get I get levels just by killing things too. Seems seems too good. Okay, meanwhile, I have, to, I have to actually make stuff. I wonder what my roaches can turn into something. What else? Yeah, it'd be interesting to see it in your ultra list. And... I, I don't, I can't do my ultra lists yet. I just keep inching forward and eating stuff. That's kind of, I kind of like just doing that over and over again, yeah. to be honest. Yeah, I mean, why not? Ah! When he levels up, he becomes... Run! I am enjoying Stukov, though. Oh yeah, he's great. Okay. Our enemies provoke us. It's hard to not just focus on him, though, because you want to just keep moving up and mm -hmm. eating stuff. Meanwhile, right. you know, other stuff is happening. It's easy to... I have to get my second primal. Yeah, like, I suppose I could get my, my primal so much faster than I've been getting them. I've just been focusing on Dahaka. Fight for me, slaves! He's gonna die! No! You can also feed him drones. Oh, they're the Ravisars from the campaign. They do the lobbed attack. To revive him. Yeah, I can feed him drones. So let's try That's it. Cool. Ha! <laughs> yep, they just jump in there and get eaten. That's cool. <laughs> That's neat. So your your buildings produce. Do you have, um, like on my my structures, I have a certain certain number of charges that yes. I can build units with. It's exactly the same. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's he's very strong with his his macro ability too. You can build stuff so quickly, mm -hmm. and he respawns so fast. I mean, I, I understand I ate a drone, but still, it's really good. Okay. 
I gotta get my primals out, or my, uh, my pack leaders out faster. That's gonna be a big thing. Mm -hmm. Hydralisks. Eat the Baneling! <laughs> Eat the hybrid! <laughs> it's ridiculous that that is allowed. I bet I bet they're gonna change that. Like they have to change that, don't they? Mm hmm No, I think they specifically did that. Maybe they could increase the the cooldown is increased, cool but it's so it's just so good. Like you don't need the cooldown if you're able to. I don't know, man. I'm gonna get some swarm hosts too, cause why not? Void Thrasher obliterated. Nice. <laughs> and then I can infest structures on your your little uh, worms that you spawn. Oh, sweet! That's perfect. I remember I was doing that with you for, with Nova, cause I could infest your uh, defense drones. Oh, did you in the la latest patch they? They disallowed that. <laughs> oh, really? From the defensive drone, I guess it was a That bug. was really good, it yeah. <laughs> I remember, maybe they were watching our video and... <laughs> I guess so, yeah. So that was that was out. strong, yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. Zerglings. So the roaches, when you when you make them fight each other, they become primal igniters, and they basically become fire bats. They, they get, like, a near melee attack range. Uh-huh. And, uh, and they just shoot flames. It's like AoE. It's really neat. That's cool. Okay, Primal Locust, we gotta keep you in the back. He's huge! And then when he, when he turns yellow, that means you have a point or something? Yes, when he turns yellow, he like bursts into energy. And uh, and and he, uh, he does a bunch of damage and gains a level. That's neat. Fight each other! In the middle of battle, do it! Yeah, see the prim the primal igniters are pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Put that, f <laughs> that fire. Oh, I'm so pleased. Do you have detection? Your um. Um, I have to spawn those things. I guess I can make. Yeah, I can make overseers. Oh god, Tahaki's stuck. Yeah, I can spawn the the greater the greater primal worms. I'm gonna try not to forget to level up my uh, uh -huh. level up Tahaka, like put the points in. But like when he gets large enough, he's still super strong. Yeah. Void Thrasher defeated. Yeah, I guess yeah we could have done this on brutal. The swarm hosts are nice. They actually they actually keep their distance. I was afraid they wouldn't do that. Must withstand them. So Dahaka doesn't have deep tunnel yet. It looks like he gets it in a oh, couple doesn't. levels. Yeah. Okay. Nice. <laughs> no bunker. <laughs> You can just go for it. Yeah, we can go for the Archangel. Okay. I don't think I have much anti-air. Yeah, it's it's easy to lose track of the... Um, what do I have here? Oh, yeah, the Ultralisk upgrades. It's hard to lose track of your macro because you're so focused like exclusively on Dahaka and the Primal Pack leaders. It's crazy good. His voice gets creepy, too, when he's when he gets huge like this. What does he sound like? He just his voice gets deeper. It's really, it's kind of it's kind of eerie. He's going through puberty. I guess. So what do your roaches evolve into? Um, they shoot fire. Okay. Do they look any different? Um, they look like they look a little bit more like ravagers. They're just bigger roaches. I'm gonna okay. make a bunch of them now. The hydralis spines are different too. They're called needle spines, but they they don't actually have needles. Or they look like I don't know. They're like on fire. I'm not really sure. <laughs> like 
I could make more production too. Like I am swimming in money. Something I have a feeling something's gonna be done here because the macro game is super strong too. I have so much money and I'm maxed out already, and I'm nowhere near. I, I don't know. This seems really good. Detection seems like it, could, it will be an ongoing issue. Like mm -hmm. you have to save your your charges for the um, the, the greater primal worms. Nice, nice. The Stukov um, <clears throat> the Stukov um, siege tanks are really really powerful too. They're really fun yeah. to use. Yeah, just a deep tunnel. <laughs> well, that that was probably wasn't the smartest spot the deep tunnel tunnel, but it's okay. It's kind of hard to tell when the siege tanks are rooted or uprooted. Right. The oh, Hakka Primal, primal Behemoth. Host. Oh, yeah. Look at him just breathing fire on those. So, so yeah. You, do you need to devour a, an air unit to have an anti air attack? Uh, it's, not, it's not an air attack, it's just a ranged attack that becomes anti air as well. Okay. He has 1,600 health right now. That's insane. <laughs> it's it's crazy good, yeah. <laughs> I feel like we're doing, doing pretty well. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. I have to just make more hydralisks for anti-air. That seems like my only major issue. These swarm hosts are uh -huh. really good because you don't have to root them, and they keep their distance automatically even if you auto attack with them. So you just make them and they stay in the back and they make a boatload of of scarab or of uh, locusts. I'm excited to see what the upgrades are going to be. I've been keeping yeah, them a surprise, like like Phoenix. Like the, yeah, Dahaka's just his ba basic units are pretty strong in in large numbers. Yeah, and it's very easy to replace them too. Mm -hmm. It's pretty wild. It's like a massive difference from some of the other commanders. First win of the day. Let's go. Oh, no! First win of the day. I see how it is. I guess we played too late last night. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. Ravisars oh, gain three, plus one attack range. Ravisars gain plus five attack damage against armored enemies. Okay. That's cool. That's what my Zerglings can fight and become. So I got Epidemic. Unlocks additional level of infestation of the infested colonist compound. Unlocks an upgrade of the infested command center. Increase the number of broodlings spawned by 50%. Oh, yeah. Both of those are so good. good. Very helpful. Nice. 